I saw the part in England, and uh, which made me come back and say, that's a part I want. I think it's much more of an acting part than I thought it was in the beginning. I think there is a depth that even Stephen Daldry, the director, has said that usually he has cast this part with old hoofers who could sing and dance the bejesus out of it. But our choreographer, Peter Darling, choreographed me out of my comfort zone, dragging me, kicking and screaming into his brilliant choreography. I mean, I have to go nuts at one point. And that was very hard for me because I'm sort of a bit of a control freak. And uh, to, to, to really let loose, let rip, and be this dotty old grandma uh, is very exciting. I think at the point that the show starts, she and Billy are the real people who are connecting on that stage. And I think Grandma is the only person Billy can turn to for a little affection. And I think it's when she starts to sing about what it was like when she was married and used to go dancing it was the best part of her life. So something resonates in him about dancing, I'd like to think. And uh, that's what I think she brings is a warmth and a compassion to Billy and what he's going through. I am personally overwhelmed by kids with talent, real talent, not superimposed, but the ones who have gut level talent. And I'm so moved, it quite frequently makes me cry, but watching these three Billy boys does that for me. The show is for everybody really who is interested in the power of an incredibly good story. I think it's got so much heart. It just touches everybody at different levels throughout the show. And I never would be sober. When they shout and cheer, uh, that's what I'm doing inside. I know it sounds corny, especially, you know, eight months later, um, but I do, I cheer that they are getting it, getting, getting the feeling. I think it is because it is so unutterably emotional that you want them to really feel it at that gut level, and they do. They really, really do.